okay uh, in this video i want to make a simple tutorial or simple demo about making a simple shaft using autodesk fusion 360 and before i get started i just want to say that the process of designing mechanical part of 3d design is the combination between art and also technical so uh, if you have another way step by step or another uh, more efficient way to create it of course you can uh, use as freely as you uh, want and the principle is to make the design as uh, efficient as possible so you can edit it whenever you want or you need and if you uh, if you send it to your client if your client also a fusion 360 user they can understand what you did and they can edit it as they need okay uh, let's just start it to create a simple shaft uh, in this uh, tutorial I want to make the shaft using this uh, revolve uh, feature by first making the sketch and then I want to make also the uh, key way and maybe in the other tutorial uh, in the next tutorial I want to demonstrate how to assemble it with the bearing and also the gear okay let's just let just get started let's first make the sketch and let's say I want to make the center line first let's say the length of the shaft is uh, maybe 100 uh, millimeter uh, please remember that the default is millimeter you can also change it in the preference setting if you want then uh, i want to make shaft with some profile like say like this for gear and then this is for bearing and it is the let's say it for the barrier the main shaft then uh, i want to make also the other side with bearing and also for gear or pulley let's say then um, the advantage of using the center line if you make the reference from here you will get uh, the diameter not uh, not only the radius let's say we want to make the diameter uh, 12 millimeter for the gear and then for the bearing i want to make it uh, with 20 millimeter diameter so i want to use 19.5 19.5 millimeter so it will uh, assembly easily or it is of course depends on your uh, manufacturing capability to uh, to take the right number of uh, precision then um, the main part will be let's say 25 millimeter and this barrier will be 30 maybe to save the material then we uh, define the length of these features for example the width of the hub of the gear will be 12 and the bearing 10 millimeter and we will do the same or we can just make it with the symmetry by you making first the construction but uh, i prefer to define it manually so when we want to edit it if we, uh, just in case the bearing diameter or the length or maybe the gear dimension is uh, different in the next uh, design we can easily edit it I'd say the this side is uh, having bigger diameter 14 and it is the same okay and it is also 10 millimeter and we don't have to make it really uh, too thick okay this is, I think is fine then we also can create the chamfer here in the sketch or we can make the chamfer after we uh, create the 3d feature let's say we want to make it a 3d feature first 
by easily use this revolve feature and this is our shaft of course very simple and then we can modify our chamfer let's say to make the assembly easier let's say 0 0.5 or we can uh, make the chamfer in in the batch eh, sorry For example, like this, you can uh, define it uh, collectively, but of course, it is not quite flexible if you want to edit it. And then, um, I want to make a shaft, uh, sorry, a keyway. Oh, wait, one more for the bearing, just to make the bearing slide easily and maybe I want to make this half little longer mm, it's just too short I think yeah and then we want to make the uh, keyway you can make it by using the uh, sketch for example if you want to make the keyway like in here uh, by using the milling uh, machining, you can make the origin, uh, sorry, the plane here. For example, like this. And you create the sketch here and extrude it down. Or maybe if you want to make it through the shaft uh, until this end, you can just create the sketch here let's say we want to have uh, 3 times 3 keyway and we look at it at the center of this by using the symmetry uh, constraint and um, the the distance we should also define of course some uh, mechanical engineering book will suggest some dimensioning for this uh, keyway you can reference to it if you want and uh, of course this distance also uh, need to be prepared for the distance to the gear uh, right here so we can also fit the gear with the same uh, keyway or slot okay just so let's just uh, extrude it for example 10 millimeter and that's it our shaft with keyway and maybe I want to make a different uh, keyway here mm. okay or maybe uh, I want to make the hole or uh, way to to make the uh, you know to to lock or to make uh, to fit the key here by using screw let's say the diameter will be uh, three millimeter and you can also make the hole by using the uh, feature this hole or or um, simply extrude it with the depth let's say uh, 4 meter millimeter eh, or 5 and we can create the sorry thread just adjust this parameter as you need and I also create a small fillet or uh, chamfer here to make the uh, to make the thread easily insert and I think it's all mm, maybe for the next part I will demonstrate how to assemble it with the gear and maybe the bearing thank you for watching uh, please comment in the comment section below uh, to request what topic you want to uh, what topic 
you want me to make in the next video. Thank you for watching.